Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been recording my meals for the last week plus some weekend meals over the last couple of weeks. So I put together some breakfast, lunches, dinners, and snack ideas for you. So enjoy. So here I have a sourdough English muffin with three points worth of sliced avocado and two eggs that I cooked in a pan with some cooking spray. So here I have some plain nonfat Greek yogurt that I added, some PB2 that I mixed up, some hemp hearts, some chia seeds, a banana, and then some raw organic honey. For a snack, I had a Quest bar in the birthday cake flavor. For a snack, I am just going to have a banana. I feel like having a bit of a snack before dinner because it's going to be a while before dinner is done. So I'm going to have one of these gala apples. For a snack, I am going to have one of these coconut cream triple zero yogurts. These are three smart points. This is what I often break my fast with because it has protein plus it's um, really yummy. For a snack today, I am going to have one of these RX bars. This is the apple cinnamon. I absolutely love this flavor. I cannot find them in my area. I had somebody send these to me and I am in love with this flavor. I hope I can find them somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to have this and I believe this is six or seven smart points. So I do have to pack my lunches for work. So on this day, I packed up some of the hash brown ham and cheese quiche from Emily Bites. And I also had a salad with some tomatoes, onion, and avocado that I topped with some Opa Ranch dressing. I am packing up my lunch to take to work. So this is something that I meal prepped on Sunday and threw it in the freezer. I just take them out the night before and let them thaw out. Then I will throw this in the microwave at lunchtime. So I have some vegetables that I have a little bit of onion salt on. These are Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. I took a shortcut and used the fajita steak meat that you can buy in the freezer section. I did show how I put this together in my meal prep video, so I will have it posted above and linked down below. So these, for two of these peppers, it is three smart points, zero smart points for the vegetables. I am packing up my lunch to take to work. So I have a big side salad here that has some mixed greens, some tomatoes. I have uh, two points worth of avocado. I have one point worth of pepitas and one point worth of sliced almonds. And then here I have one point worth of the buffalo chicken sliced deli meat. And then I have three points worth of the Acmac crackers. Or is it four points? It actually is four points worth of the crackers. I have two of the Laughing Cow cheeses, two of these ones are three smart points, and then for my dressing I have some Opa Ranch dressing for two smart points. So I'm packing up my lunch to take to work. So here I have a big salad. I have some spring mix down in there, some spinach, I have some red onion, some tomatoes, and then this is some of that same buffalo chicken lunch meat that I wanted to use up the rest of that so it did not go bad. I'm gonna bring this avocado with me to work. I have a scale at work because um, it's a little bit soft. I'm afraid if I cut it up now, it'll turn brown before lunchtime. So I'm just gonna do this at work and I'll just um, do probably three points because this is only one point. And then I have my dressing here, which is the Opa Ranch. So this will be two smart points. So that'll be my lunch. And then as far as my snacks, I'm just going to take a triple zero yogurt, and then I'm going to take some guacamole that I will dip my carrots in. So the guacamole is three points, the yogurt is three points, and this will be my lunches and snacks for today. So here I have a chicken cilantro wonton salad. This is one of my favorite, favorite things to have on the weekend. It's so quick and easy. I just used an Asian salad kit and I used some of the chicken cilantro wontons I get at Costco. And then I have some of the wonton strips and then I use the Newman's own sesame ginger dressing. So on this night, I did have some chicken parm. I do make my chicken parm now in the air fryer, but I believe I have an old video where I made it in the oven. Um, this is really super good, plus it used up lots of items in my pantry I was trying to use up. I had the side salad here with some avocado and then a side of green beans. So for dinner tonight, I am making a creamy chicken and gnocchi soup from Emily Bites. So you wanna go ahead and put some either oil or cooking spray in a pan and you wanna heat that up. And then you wanna add in some onions and garlic and then you wanna go ahead and stir this around and cook the onions until they've just softened up a little bit. 
And then you're gonna add in some chicken broth. You want four cups of chicken broth. And then I went ahead and increased my heat so I could kind of bring it to a boil. And now I'm adding in one pound of chicken breasts. And I am adding in some shredded carrots because that's what I had in my refrigerator. I wanted to use them up. Some chopped up celery. And then I'm adding some rosemary, thyme, and then also some nutmeg. So you're gonna bring this to a boil and then you're going to let it simmer and, well, you're gonna cover it and then let it simmer until the chicken is cooked. My chicken took about 30 minutes or so to um, get cooked through. So while your chicken is cooking, you wanna go ahead and start making the roux for the soup. So you wanna to mix together some flour and then you also wanna to add to that some butter that I'm using the, I can't believe it's not butter, light and then you want to whisk that together in a pan and then you're going to add in some fat-free half and half and you're going to use eight ounces of fat-free half and half and then you just want to just mix that together until it's nice and nice and smooth and creamy so when your chicken is done you want to remove that from your pan and go ahead and chop it up into bite-sized pieces and then you're going to add your gnocchi back into the pot that your chicken was in with the broth and the vegetables. So you're gonna add the gnocchi in there and you're gonna recover that and cook it for about five minutes until your gnocchi is done. And then after your gnocchi is done, go ahead and add in your creamy mixture with your flour and your fat-free half and half. And you wanna add that to your broth and your gnocchi. And then stir that around really good and then you want to add your chicken in and then you're also going to top that with about two cups of spinach i will have the entire recipe linked down below in the description box i did not change this recipe at all and this recipe made 10 one cup servings when i put it into the recipe tracker it came up to four smart points per serving and it was really super filling and it was such a big hit with the family i did not have any leftovers the family ate the rest of it i had one bowl so it was definitely a hit and we will definitely be making this recipe again I'm awake.